Alright, so we're back. Just got our stamp out of Argentina. We're about to go to Brazil. Sao Paulo first. It's a 15 hour bus ride. Excited to go to Brazil. It's definitely on everybody's bucket list to one day go to Brazil. Everybody. I'm ready to cry. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe in the future, maybe we'll come back again for Carnival next year. I know I want to do Carnival either in Panama, Trinidad, or Brazil next year. I got to make it one of them three carnivals. Um, but anyway, yeah, Argentina was nice. Wine, they the home of the meats, like Arby's, no vegetables. You can't find no vegetables here. Um, yeah, I actually, I actually liked Argentina more than I thought it would. It was very chill. Just, I liked it. Buenos Aires was really, really nice, very modern, very clean. Um, they party till seven in the morning, basically Tuesday through Tuesday, Tuesday through Sunday, basically. Um, I mean, Argentina, man, Argentina, Mendoza, the wine, you go to all the wineries. The only thing I'm saying, all these buses that we've taken in Argentina, none of them have outlets to charge your phone. So, see, SOL. Well, anyway, we're headed into Brazil. Portuguese, but I did download. No. But I did download some uh, Portuguese podcasts on Spotify. Uh, quick hack: if you're looking to learn a language and you got Spotify, Spotify has tons of podcasts, educational podcasts, and CDs on the web, on, on Spotify to learn almost any almost about any major language you can think of. Um, yeah, I probably won't be vlogging much in, in Brazil, you know. It's the home of stick 'em up boys. And I'm not trying to get anything stolen. I'm not trying to get robbed, so I'm pretty much gonna keep everything up to my cell phone and the hostel. I probably will rarely if never take my camera anywhere unless we are doing our tour and we have a lot of other than that I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm just going to hear about Brazil uh, after the fact. But anyway, I'm so ready. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the closer we get to Brazil, we can be more people leaving Brazil. So the more they, they've been hyping us up about Brazil. So, um, so yeah, there it is. The world of I, another adventure headed to Brazil. Damn, we close up, man. Yeah, man, Brady Harris. Already seen it was nice. Uh, Cordoba was actually nice too. It was, you know, college, college city. Um, I didn't yeah, see too many college kids though. Like, I, we, I didn't feel that vibe. We weren't, I, didn't feel, I felt that more about. about we didn't really go city. out like that in Cordoba. But I seen a whole bunch of. That's the that's the that's the city where you go you know, more. Uh, uh, how you say it? Right. Just young, younger, younger crowd, tattoos, the earring, lip earrings, you know, more of the uh, open to the LGBT. Um, yeah, like that. So, but the closer we've been going, like I said, Iguazu is nice. Um, oh, yeah, falls, the waterfalls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's where we went at the Buenos Aires. That's where we are now, which is like uh, Iguazu Falls is like right in between Argentina, Brazil, and Paraguay. So, it's like we're right here in the middle of these three countries. So like, we like five minutes from the border. Like if you was across that Guazu, uh, a ten minute walk. Yeah, Guazu. If you went across that river, you'd be in Brazil. Um, but the falls was amazing. Two times bigger than Niagara. Um, the closer we get to Brazil, we see more Brazilians. We see people that look like us. Um, we see the lighter Brazilians with a nice tint, tint of color, uh, tint like of tan, tan uh, that you don't see. The last time I seen something like that was in Cali. Colombia. Uh, so, just you start hearing more Portuguese, more languages in Portuguese, more stuff written in Portuguese. The hostel we were in had the, uh, some of the channels in Portuguese. So it's it's yeah. interesting. Yeah, I, mean, it's Portuguese, so. I don't know any how to say um, any type of money in Portuguese. The days of week in Portuguese. Oh, obrigado. Obrigado. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> over the thank you. You say gracias in Spanish, thank you. Like, it's, it's gonna be different. It'll be definitely challenging. Um, 
one thing we did have somebody that you know, in our group that knew more Spanish than the other. You know, so we had three different levels in our group, but now none of us know Portuguese. So it's, oh. it's definitely gonna be it's interesting. Funny. <laughs> it, it funny. And we're not gonna be walking around with our cell phones. Yeah, like yeah. That, so no that translator. Um, shoot, sign language, I guess. You know what I mean? Gang signs. Um, yeah, I don't know about that because uh, I'm not close to the favelas. <laughs> So when we go at least in the first scene, we definitely gonna see at least two people that we know. Uh, so it should be dope. It should be definitely dope. It is definitely dope traveling and then getting to meet up with other people again. And they show their experiences and you know they tell you you know you tell them their your experiences and y'all have experiences together once again in a whole other city, in a whole different country. We met we met we met three um two the two girls we meet and we met them in three different countries separate. This is good. And we got this one here. I think it's called uh, Atu. 
Atimoa, 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 this one. So this one right here tastes just like, like water. Both of these, the dragon fruit tastes like water. The texture is kind of like a watermelon, I would say. Yeah, it's like a watermelon. Yeah. And um, the persimmon, it looks on the outside like a tomato, but um, the texture is kind of like a pear. Yeah, it's like the outside of it. It's like a pear. It's um, it's sweet. I like it. I could eat a whole one by myself. And then this one, the Atamoa, is super sweet. It almost like it got some brown sugar in it. I don't, it's it's sweet. It's really sweet. I, I don't. It's, it's probably the most healthiest one for you. Um, yeah. They also say do not eat the seeds. Yeah, don't eat the seeds. It says toxic to eat the seeds. All the these have tons of seeds, kind of like a kiwi. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're all super healthy, packed with antioxidants and all types of stuff. Um, I guess in the description below, I put like, you know, what to eat, what, what, um, what each fruit is, the benefits of each fruit. Uh, so I just sitting here explaining it all out. But yeah, we ain't really been, we haven't really been vlogging here in, in Brazil at all. But. I'm really vlogging the past two countries, really. We just fell off with everything. I'm tired. We're all ready to go home. Well, his brother coming. No, his brother's supposed to be coming. Supposed to meet us in, in Rio. Rio. Yeah, so. So, Trevor, you can see this. What up, what up, what up? <laughs> Can't wait for him to be shocked off the, off the, off the plane. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, these fruits though, man, they they they're amazing. We got a lot. We probably I probably share this plate. That's just people want to try some. Expensive. It is expensive. expensive. Fruit. It's exotic. It's really so exotic. It's kind of yeah, it's kind of expensive, but world of eye here. What is it? Buy fruits. Another, we try to get us another fifty dollars. Yeah. $50. Oh yeah. When we try to buy all these fruits, bro said two hundred and twelve reals, which is like fifty two dollars for all this fruit. It was only five. We only had yeah, five fruits. Yeah. Yeah. And then we were like, nah, we just gonna take one separately, and then all of a sudden the, the price dropped like sixty <laughs> percent. He tried to finesse us. That's real. I know the finesse is real out here, but anyway, the fruits was amazing. I don't know when the next time we're gonna vlog, but. Fruit's amazing. <laughs> we already done eight. We already have eight, like most of it, but you yeah, can see the scraps. Fruit, see all the different colors skins. in there. Spikes. And so. But yeah, we about to eat this and head out to the museum. I ain't even really hungry no more. You hungry? Yeah, I just food. I need some real food. some real food. <laughs> real food. Real. Yeah, true. All right, well. Catch you guys later. Peace. Till next time. Till next time.